Okay, the first generation, they were such a holy people, they saw God in a different way. They experienced the love of God in a different way. Okay, example, some of you can very much relate. Your mom and dad, or maybe your grandfather, the way how they see God was so different, and they had a reverence towards God, they had so much of conviction, even to speak a lie, they think hundred times. Because they were such a holy bunch of people. You know, we used to make fun of people like who make, wear white and white. But it takes so much of guts to say that we belong to Jesus. And publicly they say, I'm wearing a white and white. Just imagine you're wearing a white and white, you can't smoke on the road. Just wearing a white and white, you can't speak bad words. Just wearing a white and white, you can't cheat in the office. They were boldly saying that we are set apart. That takes so much of guts. Those days they did. They're very clear, we will not marry a non-Christian. Even though they give hundreds of hundreds of gold, we will not marry. That was the conviction level your mom and dad had. And some of you are blessed by that. But now we live a generation, the second generation Christian, where my generation or your generation, we know what our father and mother did, but we don't know the God whom they worship. We come to church because my mom and dad will scold me. Amen. I, can't, I read Bible because otherwise my mom will not give pocket money. You become so religious. Can I tell you something? You can wear a cool pant, you can wear a cool t-shirt, but still I can be a religious Christian. Amen. Because if, so a lot of times we come to church, we give tithe, we give everything, we serve God because we form a religious formulation. Amen. We don't love God the way how my mom and dad loved they used to walk 40 kilometers to go for a Sunday service. Now, you go to church because my mom will call me and check, are you going to church? For that sake, I'm coming, man. I wonder if you can agree with me or like, you know, can relate with me. You know, my kids, the third generation, will be the godless generation. They don't know who or God itself. The book of Judges. They have never seen the God of Moses. They've never seen the God of Joshua. They just sleep with everybody, worship all kinds of idols, and still they have a Christian name. They're all Israelites, but they worship different gods. <coughs> Amen. So now I believe we are in the second generation. Amen. I know I don't want to say amen, but we are a, such a religious people. How many of you really know the purpose of church? How many of you really like take the Bible early in the morning and read the scriptures? Those are the days where our parents did. Amen. The first generation, you know, they were so zealous for God. In fact, you know, they won't even find jobs on Sundays. I remember one of the uncles, like, you know, everybody looks, you know, scolded him, like, because he's got two daughters. He got a job at, like, you know, in a company where he has to work on Sunday. Highly paid. I'm talking about 30 years back. He said, Sunday belongs to God. I will not take up the salary. And everybody is scolded, like, no, you are not, you are a foolish man. That was the zealous those days they carried. Ipo sunburn, pota kanam perudhu. DJ netu poyirudhu. Or Sunday, there's no passion. There's no love. There's nothing, you know, just come like a religious and go. There's no passion. That hand band lam poorru, anna onnu sarakkillu. What would Jesus do? Build a... Uh, t next week going to sell it. all the things we have, but there's no passion. You know, in the third nation, third nation, what will happen? Like, you know, there'll be a moral slip will happen. My kids will not know whom to marry. Moral slip will happen. We, some of you in the moral slip. Amen. They don't know what is right, there's no what is wrong. It's very scary. A godly generation is becoming a generation that just does the what the people are outside are doing it. Amen. In the first generation, the church grew so fast. In the second generation, the church was stagnant. In the third generation, the church will become a mosque. It is happening in Europe. You see, you go to any church that is hundred years old. You just go around in Chennai. Just go find a church that is hundred years old. That time it was so powerful, passionate, impact in the society. The second generation just doing the religious thing. Now, it has become a wedding hall. Amen. So, like, I want to have a wedding there. I can get nice photos. Nonsense. <laughs> Nonsense. You know, the church has become a monument place, not a place of momentum. 
I pray our church will not die in this generation. Amen. The early church was able to survive for three centuries, 300 years. They were so powerful. Amen. Am I making sense? Am I seeing the kind of the church? Yeah. So guys, you guys have a huge responsibility, guys, you know, to revive the church, to bring back the prayer, to bring back the holiness, to bring back the holiness from the church and empower and make a change in this place. Let's not live like the people, how the other people are living. Amen. Yeah. I'm going to talk about the five weeds, no, weeds, I'll, I'll clarify. And yesterday I was telling, you know, I'm going to talk about five weeds. No, weeds are, no, no, no. Weeds means like the unhealthy plants, the wild plants that grows along the... Yeah? Okay, five weeds of the church. You know, the farmer or a gardener, okay, he has to be very careful when he's farming something. Along the way, some weeds also will grow. Some wild plants also grow. It will look the same. Green color, green color. Grows from the soil, grows from the soil. It almost looks the same, but they destroy the fruits of the harvest. There are five kinds of people in the church, in this present generation. They are like weeds. They are like wild plants. They look like believers, but they destroy the holiness of God. They destroy the growth of the church. They destroy the healthiness of the church because these weeds has to be dealt. Okay? The healthy farmer will bring an knife and cut it off. A healthy farmer will put the pesticides and destroy it. So today I want to like, you know, focus on that, the five weeds that has to be dealt in our church. Not only in our church, every church. And some of you came for the very first time, praise God. Some of you are still exploring. Last three months you've been coming, should I be part of this church or not, service timings and all this good, but you can make a choice now. First weed, okay? Are you guys with me? You need some coffee? Thank you. <laughs> First we call freelancers believers. Freelancer believers. Okay. How many of you are doing freelancing? One. Two. Such a cool job, right? Anytime you can change, anytime you can change the job, anytime you can change your location. There's no commitment for this particular LIC work panna, kade shirke, LIC work panna. Okay, freelancing is like, you know, these are the believers, they are like church hoppers. Grasshopper, church hoppers. Go stay up, moon was singer pang, alma sanger panga, Christmas up on the Amma Chachik Bedwanga, Abranga Melati, Apa Chachik Uruanga, Abaya Chachik Bowanga, and Suthi Derpa. These are the weeds, they look like Christians, but they are not Christians. Amen? Church hoppers. And it's good to explore churches, but don't keep hopping church. They are called the migrant Christians. And the birds, you know, they keep migrating. When the seasons are not good, they migrate to another place. When the church is speaking the hard teachings, they'll migrate to this church pastor is too bad. The lights are not working in the church. The lift only two people can take it. <laughs> <laughs> I can't go three floors, I can't climb. You know, someone is too long. Amen. In this church, pastor is wearing a cap. Some people made a complaint also. <laughs> no cap. Freelancers, anybody in this place, you know, like, you know, see, you go to a city, you know, you're going to Pune for finding a job, okay? You don't hop five, every month, one, one company, you don't hop, right? You find one company and you serve there, right? So take time to search for, but don't keep hopping churches. You are a biggest threat for the church. Amen? Renda the weed, yaar, paklama. Dual membership believers. <laughs> okay? You were slinger clan, India slinger clan. Okay? Membership in a very good church for marriage hall, for a cemetery. You know? Christmas, we can go to the church, and we can go to the church. We can go to Christmas, and we can go to the church. We can go to the church. Dual membership. Okay? This is almost like a guy who is married to two wives. I'm making a very serious statement. Okay? In the wife, there is no one who is not there. In the church, there is no one who is not there. That's why I'm going to go. Am I making sense? Dual membership people, be careful. Okay? Please don't play in the house of God. They receive the privilege in one church and give commitment to another church. Amen? Can I tell you something? Kalyana is not going to go. The first wedding happened in the garden. 
அது ஒரு பெரிய ஒரு பிரச்சனை எங்கே நடக்கணும் கல்யாணம் இங்கே தான் நாங்கள் பிறந்தோம் இங்கே தான் வளர்ந்தோம் என்னத்தை சாதிச்சுக்கணும் தச்சு இல்லை ஏதாவது ஆத்மாதான் என் பண்ணிங்களா நான் இங்கே தான் பண்ணுவேன் இதில் என்ன இது ஃபீல் ஆகுது என்ன பெருமை இது ஏன் தே ஓன் ஆல் சிமெட்ரி ஓகே சிமெட்ரி இங்கே தான் இருக்கும் இந்த கொயர் பாட்னா தான் எங்களுக்கு நல்லா இந்த வெட்டிங் நல்லா இருக்கும் ஸோ ஐ டெல் சம்திங் மேரேஜ் வந்து சார் அதுக்கு ரன்னிங் ரேஸ் ஓகே அந்த கன் ஷூட்டிங்கில் கன் ஷூட் பண்ணுறாங்க பார்த்திங்களா அதுதான் மேரேஜ் டே டோன்ட் செலிப்ரேட் யுவர் தட் டே டூ மச் ஃபினிஷ் த ரேஸ் ஐ வாண்ட் திஸ் டெக்கார் ஐ வாண்ட் திஸ் கவுன் யாரும் மதிக்க மாட்டாங்க உங்களை யாரும் கவனிக்க மாட்டாங்க நீ என்ன வேணால் ஃபோட்டோ வச்சுக்கோ வாழ்க்கையை வாழ்ந்துக்காம லிவ் யுவர் லைஃப் மேன் சும்மா அதுக்கு பெரிய பட்ஜெட்டை போட்டு செலவு பண்ணிக்கிட்டு டோன்ட் ஷோ ஆஃப் தட் இஸ் ஜஸ்ட் கேன் யூ கேன் சம்படி சேட் கன் ஷூட் செலிப்ரேட் பண்ண முடியுமா கன் ஷூட் ஏ ஐ வின் த மேன் நோ கைஸ் ரன் த ரேஸ் மேன் ஏ மேன் yeah please let's break this you know traditions of dual membership believers inga or member anga or na sila per anju jatha member irupa madukingala saavu ku oradum kalyanathu ku oradum vayasu ku vandha oradum ellarthu oradu vechirupa koduma pa makkal like such a missionary gal vandu kashtapottu church ettu poi irukanga some missionaries like paid their life and soul now we just using like a toilet urgent na porudhu church ku enadhu urgent ah vella pora na pakkathile poi ittu poyirren dual membership so please can i tell you something if you're already a member of church can you please go if you want to be part of this church can you please go resign say that i'm going to be part of this church or give a letter and come here amen sila per ponanga inga baby ticket panna matama anga pay panni thanduvanga vaadhingala you crazy people man seriously in those days they lived and died for jesus amen moonadhu yaar na non rooted believers they will be coming to church only they are never rooted in one church okay they are the people who are not willing to commit to to the church they will come to church for one year two year three year and commitment kudukka matanga they are like crotons crotons pathirkeengala the different decor appa pathirkeengala it will look good on the church but they never bear fruits christmas samu super vandruvanga retrust pottu praise lord brother our word is super enna adukke okay these christians i will always say in the grotas nothing ki vella potrunga endru and the moonu chedi ki pathina the green three green no it looks good but it doesn't bear any fruits nonsense ad waste ad so people are not rooted in one church you are just a pain in the church <laughs> i am seriously telling na namma church la ninga endha church na ponga please unga church unmaiya irunga nu solla that's what i'm trying to say you, you find it any church you go to any church but please be faithful to your local pastor anga adicha inga varudhu inga adicha anga varudhu apdi odite irupan apdi adu and in joint family you know that when, when grandfather is calling you'll come to the father when father is calling you go to the mother when mother is calling you go to the road okay, be in one place man be accountable to one pastor be accountable to one church there's nothing wrong okay one of the guides are not the self focused believers they are very so their their needs may be so spiritual i need a church that can lead me in worship wow nalla irukke i want a nice worship should be there can i tell something your worship is not for you worship is for god don't put your need first that means you are worshiping yourself amen they they, they are the people they come with their own agenda or agenda oda varuvanga paathirkeengala varumbodhu plot panduvanga so 2019 we had a rock arts fest 800 people came we had a nice venue in adyar nice sound system nice pa nice ambience nice culture everybody said we love crc 2020 march came zoom church came everybody left church yavanda va light potta namma vr crc indranga zoom call kupta ana aale nare pe lot of people left church because of zoom call you know that they don't want to be part of it or no we really like you know be rooted in the church during zoom time the biggest problem for the big pastor was turn on your camera idhu kora half an hour adukona message kudukno adukku or idu kudutte i am audible i am audible mund service mundichu i am seriously preaching a sunday sermon one guy is nana or kilo biryani kudukna nandra adey enga da irukara avan zoom potta nara kada kasa panikku poitan dey konjama mariyada kudra kadavilukku nu you know they come with an agenda pathinga church ku varuvaanga correct ah varuvaanga life part pick panni poite irupa paathirkeengala but six months project ku varuvaanga they will come for six months pastor or correct panuvaanga poite irupaanga avanga vaala mundichu okay pastor thank you nice garden that you have 
சில பார்த்தா கரெக்டாக வந்து ஃப்ளோட் பண்ணிட்டு போயிட்டே இருப்பேன் வருவாங்க அவர் ஒரு நாலு கேர்ள்ஸோட பேசுவாங்க ஓகே பாய் 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 ஐ டோன் கேர் அப்ட் த விஷன் அண்ட் மிஷன் தே ஒன்லி டாக் டு கேர்ள்ஸ் வி கம்ப்ளீட்லி கம் வித் ஓன் அஜெண்டா ஐ மீன் இதெல்லாம் யூத் சேஷோட பிரச்சனை அவங்க யார் நம்மளால் பேசுகிறாங்க நம்ம ஃபாஸ்ட்டெலாம் மதிக்க மாட்டாங்க கம் ஃபார் ஃப்ரைடே பேர் ஊ கேர்ஸ் மேன் நீ வரி அடி நான் வரேன் மிஷின் ட்ரிப் நீ வரி அடி நான் வரே உன்னை மிஷின் ட்ரிப் அங்கே கூப்பிட்டா நீ வந்து உங்களை செட் பண்ணிட்டுருக்கிறேன் உள்ள என்ன I mean, I'll talk about next week, the reflex of these kind of boys. <laughs> okay? You can talk about the pace of the world, but you can talk about it. These guys are jobless, they come and flirt with you. Okay? Don't think they're such a very good MGR. You can't do that. 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 Wow, what a man. Next week, I'll cover that. Okay? Sunday Christians. Okay? They'll only see you on Sunday. Sunday, they'll only see you on Sunday. They'll only see you on Sunday. They'll only see you on next Sunday. They'll only see you on the weekly, full on, they'll only see you on the group. Not even reactions. You don't see them anywhere. Amen? So these are the five weeds in the local church. Okay? This will destroy the purpose of God. This will destroy the expansion of the kingdom of God. this will destroy the growth of the church this will destroy the healthy of the church i can i pray and say god in the name of jesus god we release these people lord amen we don't want crowd we want the committed amen that's why i'm not into prosperity gospel i'm not into name it and claim it gospel i'm in the gospel it's full gospel the gospel of jesus <laughs> amen and whenever jesus preached people are offended amen good so i'm going to like run through 10 simple ways of expressing your love towards the local church this is going to be very practical for you if you're considering to be part of the city rock church this might be applicable if you're already part of a church please go and talk to your pastor i learned something on this sunday randomly went to a church something god spoke to me go to your church and do it third if you thinking i don't want to be city rock church i'll go to my mother church please go no problem Can I say amen? Amen. Okay. First, be consistent in your personal walk with Jesus. How can you love the church? Okay. Be consistent in your personal walk with Jesus. The Bible very clearly says, remain in me. I want to ask one question. You don't have to answer. Okay. When was the last time you had a devotion time with God? Don't answer. When was the last time you spent time with God? reading the scriptures being in the presence of god if you want to really say that i love the church first work on your personal relationship with jesus amen we have a lot of marthas in the church they do a lot of activities in the church but can you be in the presence of god and look up to god and receive the word from god second prioritize god seek the kingdom of god in your job in your relationship in your everything put god first if you really want to show the love of god always be god conscious you know when J- when joseph wanted to forgive his brothers you know he said i fear god that's why i release forgiveness amen can we all live a life that god is watching you know usually when people smoke like you know they see here and there but look up mal odagran budi papa but hall spot dura pathinga long distance nipa hello pastor unlucky la pastor god is watching amen the scam account vachana yesu nama adnala nige manandirumga scam account fake account dual account pastor kora account veet kora account boyfriend kora account ellathu delete panunga adha live your true life to god third take effort for meaningful relationships okay please remove your identity saying that i am an introvert i am an extrovert i am a textovert i am a pervert in the ellathu ethru i am not worthy i am a sinner i am a broken all these things words la eduthite you once you believe in jesus you become the sons and daughters of god get into the identity don't focus on yourself amen you can only connect with some lot of divorces are happening you know why because they focus on themselves amen you know this is a generation they long for belongings 
and they're scared for giving commitments. They want to belong somewhere. Others, oh, FOMO is coming in, uh, but they don't want to give commitment. That is why living together has become so successful for these kind of people. They want, they want to love someone, but they don't want to get married. It's very common in your generation. Some of the Christians are buying that. Because you're not seeing healthy marriages, you're scared of marriages. Friends of benefit. Okay, Jesus, friends of benefit. Whenever I need you, you come. Whenever you need, I'll come. I'll come for youth camp, I'll go for one mission too. That's all. Don't ask for any commitment to us. All these terms come because we scared out of giving commitment. Young people, there is no relationship will grow together if you cannot give commitment. Amen? Sometimes you need to give your privacy for someone in your church to spend time with them. Sometimes you need to take your wallet and spend money to make relationships. Amen? Okay, fourth tip. Understand the vision of the church. Okay? I really wish our church people come and talk to me. What is the vision of the church, Pastor? Get in, I'll explain. Okay? This church has got a vision. We really love God. We really love North India. We really love millennials and If you want to see below 25 people crying out and reaching out to God, worshiping Jesus, that is the one reason that we have for this church. So connect with your local church pastor. Connect with the vision. Amen? For fifth, seek opportunities to serve. Amen? Okay, any talent is fine. Any talent is fine. But seek the opportunity. Like whatever you have, Give it for Jesus. Give it for the local church. Now, a lot of times, you know, like a lot, a lot of people, they don't want to give for a church because you're not paid here. Did you pay and get the talent from God? It was grace, right? That's the payment you could do, brother. Amen. Now, I don't believe in people hiring for Sunday worship. I believe in whatever we have, we'll use it. Amen. I think I need to produce one more kahoon for. It's too tall, but it's very small. See, this is all we have. You don't have to like perform. You know, we have great band, we have great show. No, that doesn't matter. Like God sees your heart. Amen. Yesterday, like, you know, I was really moved. No, I came 100 kilometers just to practice three songs. You know, he can use the time for himself with his family. But Took time for like four hours just to practice three songs, just to serve the next budding team in the church. This is called seeking the opportunity to serve. Whereas Sunday Matu Ante Poningana, this is not a theater, this is not a club. Then we need to have some bounces outside. <laughs> Amen. Sixth, carry the spirit of generosity. Our God is a generous God. Okay, can I tell you something? Okay, if you are rooted in this church, I want you to pay your tithe here. It's biblical. Amen? Amen. Okay? If you don't belong here, give a tithe to your local pastor and go to that church. Angavada getting varading. Amen? Understood? I, will, I want to talk more on this, but I really want to break the spiritual principle like, you know, if you are part of this church and you have to be accountable to this church and pay your tithe. If you're still not comfortable with this church, go to the other church and give your tithe there. Okay, I have a house owner, right? And uh, where should I pay my rent? Uh, I don't like my house owner. <laughs> He's already rich. Why should I pay my tithe? Okay. Sometimes they go to a big church and say, they're already rich. Why should I give tithe? I'll give it to someone. No. It's not about you judging the church, rich or poor. If you belong to the church, they're giving spiritual covering. They're giving spiritual food. They're giving spiritual love. And you need to pay your tithe there. Okay, don't do all this unbiblical things. If you have a doubt, kindly do it here. selfishness. I mean, I feel so like disgusted when those kind of offerings, you're just giving for one benefit just to get the wedding hall. Such a selfish Christians we are. They are giving to love God, man. That's the benefit. Amen? If you are part of a CSH, please go and be rooted there. I'm happy wherever you are. God dwells there. Can I hear an amen? CSEO, ECO, AJ, that's not a church. Don't be a church hopper. So pay your tithe where you are rooted. 
If you're not comfortable here, please go to the other church and get comfortable and pay your tithe there. We are not, we are totally okay with it. Amen? Seventh, be available for all the prayer in initiatives. Every Friday we meet for prayer. So be available. So another good example. He takes one train, then one bus, one shower auto to go to the office. Takes the same bus, comes in a train, take the bike, and comes for every Friday night prayer, he's there. Works in Tech Magendra in next city, but still he comes for every Friday. Every Friday religiously is there. You need a place to stay, our house is there. But take, be part of all the prayer initiatives. You are just losing. This is my house, shall be called as the house of prayer. If the prayer is not happening, then there's no point of having the church itself. Like, take effort. Everybody got bikes, right? Everybody got cars, right? Everybody got rapido, right? Everybody got legs, right? Then you are eligible to come for night prayer. Amen. When you go to any church, the poor old ladies will be praying. On Friday morning, you go to any age church, faithfully they'll be praying for you guys. Why not we pray for them? Reverse it. Have any time prayed for your mom and dad? Very faithfully, you know, aggressively. God bless my mom and dad. Bless my college. Bless my office. Bless my church. I've never, never been. Friday is my, you know, my weekend begins. Let's party. You party and come, or you pray and go and party, but pray. <laughs> You're not against it. I mean, okay. Eighth, okay. This is one of the culture that has to be destroyed. I'm trying to work on this for 12 years. Still, I'm not succeeded. Any guess? Be on time. Be punctual to church. You're late on the latest hour. You're late on the latest hour. 10 o'clock service means go 10.45. You're invited for a wedding at 5 o'clock, be there at 4.45. If you're invited for an interview, 5 o'clock, be ready by 4.45. 15 minutes is... Punctual, on time is late. Bathroom two minutes down. Another two minutes, noodles, Two minutes, huh? Poi, poi. Some people's two minutes can be two years. They two minutes, I'm sure, on JPL. Whatever. Server down in one, bank in one, then one, cars ever. So if you are coming to church, you know, please, this today morning in the family church, I said, 9.45, you are not coming, stay back home. I'm not running a club, you can walk in any time. Hey, in the middle of music, I'll let the club put I said, if you're not coming at 945, doesn't matter whether married or kid or not, I don't care. You give a higher style, I don't care. God means God, give reverence. If this 11 o'clock timing is very hard for you, find a church that is very convenient for your time. No offense. Amen? And one psychological problem. People who come from very far, they're on time. Bother <laughs> you, so I'm just seriously telling you, please, whether you're coming to our church or going to any other church, please make this principle. Go early and pray with the church. Amen. I 